Your mom. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry about the two weeks of absence. I've just been really busy and I've got new furniture in my room so I'm rearranging and stuff like that. I'll do some sort of room tour if you guys are interested after it's all ready to go. Um, this video is my Korea package. I received it about two, three weeks ago. Maybe three, four weeks ago. I'm not sure. It's been a while. I actually took an initial take of this video, but it was way too bright. The lights were far too close. So um, instead of blinding you guys, I decided to just retake it. And um, that's it. I'm going to show you everything I got from Korea, excluding clothes and stuff like that. Um, I, I don't think anyone's interested in that department of my life. So um, here we go. No particular order. Uh. I've got two sticker books here. Got the Chopper Man mini sticker book. And it's got six designs. Six different designs. Um don't know if you can see that actually. Can you see that? There you go. That's Chopper Man. I also ha I'll show you the cover. It's pretty cute. It has 233 stickies. I also have Haikyuu, and I think this one has more designs, but um, the flap is covering it and fortunately is wrapped in like that, so... Those are the two miscellaneous sticker books. Now I'm going to go through my epic pile of Cookie Run. If you guys don't know, I'm such a huge fan of the app game Cookie Run and their new game Cookie Run Oven Break. So, I went hunting for as much Cookie Run stuff as I could find. I have some mini sticker books. I have two of these four ones and one of this five one. I'll just show you these two up close. Okay, when it focuses... Ta-da! So cute! It took me ages to find just these two. I don't think the others are um, around much anymore. But if you do have some and you want to sell some to me, I would gladly buy them off you. I also got the Cookie Run sticker packs. I think these were like retail shop ones. So I've got two Season 2 ones. This one contains five of each design in... So this is 20 stickers on this thing, so... I'm sorry, it's sideways. There you go. I hope that's focusing. So that is the larger sticker set. Here are five of each, but they're smaller. I also got this Cookie Run card mandegi. So it's DIY Kada Mandugi Cookie Run little activity book for kids. Basically, I lived in the kids section trying to find as much Cookie Run as I could. Um, they have like this weird manga Cookie Run, but I don't like the art style of that. So I, I just went for whatever looks like the app game. I also have Cookie Run uh, Panorama Sticker Book. So this is like a panorama sticker book. what it looks like on the back. Okay, I have Cookie Run Paper Toy Book. So it's got um, paper craft of how many cookies? 30 cookies in this booklet. Those are all the cookies that you can make.
This is Cookie Run Wang Sticker Book. So this is Cookie Run King Sticker Book. The back looks like this. And I have Wang Sticker Book 2. Sorry guys if you're not interested in Cookie Run, tough luck. <laughs> but you know what, you guys should totally check it out. It's a really fun game, really simple. Oh, by the way, this is a um, kids book like learning grammar and sentences and um, I got two. I think one of them is the sounds and one's the shape and one is the spacing. Anyway, this one is the sounds of Korean. go so cute guys oh yeah I was trying to promote this game this game is really cute really fun and super addictive gameplay all the stuff can be unlocked just by play um, of course there is um, a pay to pay for convenience but not a pay to win sort of thing so I totally recommend it it's very fun and I think the design team does a really good job with each cookie that they put out Anyway, this one is Cookie Run Sticker Sticker Game Book. So I guess it's a uh, sticker activities. This one is Cookie Run Paper Paper Toy Book Volume Two. Now this one came out before. That collection of 30 that I showed you. So this one only has um, 1, 2, 6. This one has 12 in it. This one is Cookie Run Sticker Coloring Book. Jeez, I'm obsessed. I'm sorry, guys. There's a few more Cookie Runs to go. This one is Cookie Run Sticker Sticker Collection, it seems. So it's like a album, photo sticker album with some stickers. Obviously I haven't opened any of them, most of them are still in their shrink. This one is a Cookie Run episode Te Tap Te Tam Hum. Hmm? Maybe I can't read Korean. Um, it's some sort of sticker book. I think it's uh, an activity book of sorts with stickers in it. That one's hardback. This one is sticker book. The same one, um, Tetaham, but this is the first volume. The other, the other one was the second one. So yeah, it looks like a sticker activity book, really. Uh, this one is a cookie run. Sege Yumyong Toshi is So find the find them in world famous locations. So it's kind of like a find Waldo sort of cookie run book. You can see the back, it's pretty complicated. This is um Shinde. So this is the new episode Find Waldo kind of book. The back doesn't have much intro. Oh, okay, that that's my cookie run. I did get some cookie run figures, but um they're all in the case and I can't be bothered getting them out, I'm sorry. But I do have a box. So this this is season one box. I have a season, the whole season 2 collection, I'm missing the epic rare for this collection, but um, I'll show you. There we go. 
So I'm missing jungle cookie right at the bottom there. I have everyone else. Okay, when it comes back, carrying on, I, I'll go through some figures. No, I'll have to go through manga first. So I got this one, Nietzsche's, um, Nietzsche, Nietzsche Song Seng. So the English title is Mr. Nietzsche in the Convenience Store. I hear it's a really funny manga, so I got volume 1, and so far I do like it. It's quite good. Put all the cookies together, sorry. It's a cookie pile. And then put the manga down here. I also have Ongtori Dance. This is volume 1. Volume 2. I think I got all the volumes before I left Korea, so sorry if I'm looking kind of off. I don't trust my autofocus, so. Volume 3 and Volume 4 came out a few days before I had to leave, so I picked up Volume 4 as well. I think the Japanese title for this manga is Karap Karapo Dance. Anyway, it's really cute. I think it's really cute. Um, I also got Mob Psycho Volume 13 with a little special. It looks like band-aids, like little plasters. Um, this one's Korean. I actually faced the dilemma of what to do with the rest of my Mob Psycho. Some of you may know that I have the Japanese versions up till 12. So, um, I mean, sorry, up till 11. So I either sell my Japanese copies or do like a half Japanese half Korean thing or I just sell the Koreans and get the Japanese. It's kind of hard so I'm still thinking about it. This is volume 12 of Mob Psycho. You can't see the cover because it has a freaking ad for it. Ad for this um, fireworks um, well I don't know the um, English title but this is out in English. Anyway, that's volume 12. This is volume 14, the last volume that was out before I had to leave Korea. I also got Chatel volume 1. Now this one I really want in English, but I don't know how long that'll be. So maybe I'll just collect this one in Korean. I also have Chatel volume 2. Don't know if you can see that. Okay, I also got this, oh my god, this is really beautiful, um, Pekajam Waltz, so this is the department store Waltz manga, and I didn't know anything about this, and it was sealed, all of the manga in Korea have the shrink wrap, so I didn't know what to expect, but I bought this, it was kind of expensive, and oh my god, it is beautiful, okay, I'm going to show you, just a few pages, it's full color as well. You just, you just see, I don't know if I'm showing that, there you go. It's just beautiful. So this was expensive, but totally worth it. And when I say expensive, it's just expensive in Korea. So this one was about 15, 16 New Zealand dollars which is cheaper than most manga. I also have, um, even roses are useful, sort of, like, um, it says, 장미라도 쓸수 있어, 쓸수 있어. Um, you can, you can use even roses, <laughs> even roses can be used, oh my god, I, it's hard to say, but, um, this one shot I got early on, so I think the first or second day I arrived in Korea. Just, I wanted some reading material and I had to buy something that wasn't a series. Um, I also have Welcome to Room 305. This is a Korean webbed comic and it's so cute and so good. Um, obviously, web comics in Korea are in full color, so this would be in full color. Um, yeah, I, I tried very hard to buy a lot of Korean 
uh, comics because I know they're harder to get elsewhere. I also have volume 2 of Welcome to Room 305. I got Hakume and um, Hakume and Mikuchi. My friend had this in her collection in Japanese and I saw it in Korean and I had to get it because the art is so nice. And I think Hakume is getting an anime this year so um, hopefully we'll see an English version soon. Alrighty. I have Sayuki Reload Volume 10 because Tokyo Pop never finished Reload and it's kind of I'm actually annoyed that I can't have everything in the same like look and same language but what can you do I might collect the rest of Sayuki in Korean and kind of have both versions This one is a Korean webcomic it's called Onordo Handmade so um, today also, how do I say this in English actually? Onordo Handmade. Today also, handmade. Does that make sense to you? So basically saying, um, Today is today is also handmade. The English. Um, I got the collect um, the set, so it's two volume set, which comes with really nice postcards. So that is that. Oh yeah, I got tons of um, BL stuff, so just be wary. That's gonna hit you soon. I got um, Nabilera by, um, this is a Korean webtoon as well, I think. It's uh, about a guy, ballerino, is that what they're called? Ballerina, guy, guy. Anyway, it looks cute. And this was one of the last books I bought from Korea. I was in a rush, and I just grabbed whatever looks looked good, and I grabbed that one. This is Selected Words of... Words? Selected Work of Junji Ito and it's got all the stories none of them are new it's just all the stories that um, feature these characters on the cover here um, so Glycerin, Model, all these other ones Grief Story Glyceride? Glycerido anyway this one is also um, Junji Ito, Fragments of Horror. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I bought a bunch of Junji Ito. I also have this Korean webcomic, Nancy the Cat. So cute, it's really hardback. Um, and it comes with stickers. Um, I didn't open it, obviously, still in a shrink. And my sister asked me to get a novel called, um, called I Want to Eat Your Pancreas in Korean. And right next to it I saw this, which is the comic box set of I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. So I got the box set for the comics and I got her the novels. Uh, okay. Okay, um, I got this, my friend recommended this to me, it is a Korean webtoon series. It's a female middle school student, A, or something, I don't know, I'm sorry, it's um, Yeojungseng A. If you can see that at all. And this one's really cool, it's the box set, so it has a cover that looks like a VHS cassette tape with the back looking like this. Oh my god, taste is so good. And actually, it's funny because the guy who sold this to me, he's like, do you know what this is? I'm like, excuse me, I'm, I'm 30, <laughs> almost 30, so yes. 
But it's funny how he asked, because I imagine most people don't know. Um, Alright, uh, we've got a few BL stuff to get through. Not, uh, let's see. Okay, the last one that's not BL is this One Punch Man in Psychopenia. I kind of got this in hopes of getting my friend into One Punch Man, but she really wasn't, she wasn't really interested at the time, so I just kept it for myself. Um, it's got some colored pages at the front. Whoops. Um, yeah. Fold out. What is this? There's stickers? Sorry, looks like there are stickers. Okay, this purchase was totally worth it all of a sudden. Because I kind of thought I didn't need this. Anyway, One Punch Man Encyclopedia was bought as well. Okay, going on to the BL. Let's start with one that's like not R18. This is, um, Hero in the Sa in Satan's House. The Korean is Yongsa in Mawang is cheap. <laughs> so, um, this one's actually available illegally online. So if you wanted to check it out, then you can before buying. I just thought the art style was really interesting, so I bought this one. Second is Marigold. Now in Korea, all of the R18 books have this um, red band here, so it's kind of really hard to hide with the books. If you just see the cover, you go, oh, oh my god, right there it's got big obvious R18 sign. But anyway, this one's really cute as well. One of my favorite um, BL authors nowadays is uh, Nemu Yasada, and I got her circus book. This one's also available online if you want to search for it and have a read. But please consider um, supporting the original releases, so gra grabbing the um, Japanese version or you know any other licensed version would be good. Another one by Nemu Yasada, this one is Dear My God, really popular in the BL community, I think. What else do I have? Uh, okay. That's all for Nemu Yasada. I have Nakamu Nakamura Asumiko's um, Hyangie Kiss. I don't know the English title for this. Um, but this is volume 1 and 2. And it's got a little puzzle in here, so I had to get... I already have this in Japanese, but I had to get it because of the bonus that comes in it. And also, um, I read Korean and understand Korean better than I do Japanese, so... Yeah. Oh, this one's cute. This is, um... Paboa Nawa Undam Pesar. Undam Pesar? Yeah. This is so cute. One of my favorites that I've bought. Um, I love it. I love it so much. It's by Ushi Natsuda. This is funniest story of my life. Um, not because the story is really cute, but the whole situation around me buying this book was funny. So I bought it the first time around, and while I was reading, I accidentally scratched it. So I gave that to my friend, and I bought a new copy. And then I came home, and then I realized that I have an unopened Japanese copy of the same book. So, I've bought this book three times in my life. Anyway, <laughs> I just thought that was funny. This story is really cute. Um, basically, um, I don't want to tell you actually, but I should probably tell you the title in Korean. Purengjung-e Hengbok. So, happiness in misfortune. That kind of thing. This one is by S.M. Um, it's Pumbare Kentaros. Um, oh my god. Her, her centaur stuff is awesome. Like, really awesome. So, I like this one too. It's not R18, because no red, red band. But, uh, 
I think is a good read. It's really cute. I think it's it means something like um, do your best, Mr. Centaur. That's the title in English or something. I also have um, this one. Mother Spirit. Oh, Mother Spirit. Is that what it's called? Um, I got this near the end of my trip. It looked cool, so why not? And I also, I actually was hunting for this one and took me, I was, I think I was on the last day there and my friend was helping me and I said, oh, there's like this BL manga with a monk and a spider, Gijinka spider. And she, she's like, and we, we went to like five different shops trying to look for it. And then my friend found it. <laughs> the title is Sungyo wa Komi. It's actually, um. Monk and Spider. Here it is, I found it. Well, my friend found it, and I have it now. So that's good. Satisfied. <laughs> okay, a few more to go. <laughs> my friend, same friend. Basically, I only hung out with one friend throughout this whole trip, who basically helped me get everything here. Um, she introduced me to this artist, um, Toge. And I thought, oh my god. Oh no, what the hell? Okay, looks like some sort of print got onto the back of this one, so I'll have to repurchase. But I got her collection of short BL stories. Very obviously states Poise, Poise, Dobu right here, BL right there. Um, and she has four volumes in this short, seri um, short story collection. Some of them continue onwards, so, um, you know, but I've become such a fan. She's climbed the ranks of my Guilty Pleasure BL authors, right up there with Sakira and all those other cheesy ones. She is so good. Um, and I also have her actual series, which is, um, Michinan Kitsiman. So it's like, you may not believe it. That's I think that's the English title for it. That's volume one, and this is volume two. They're both fun, but I honestly just enjoy the short series. Short stories a lot more. Um, this one is a Japanese art book. I don't know if you can see it because the cover is so pale. But... Again, last day, I needed to do something. Oh, there's an English um, title here. Voice Love Erotic Scene Talk. Okay. Okay, sounds like I, I made a good purchase. Obviously, I haven't seen inside, but it looks really good. So. This one is actually a Korean visual novel. A BL visual novel. It's called Beyond the Eden. And they also had art book and OST for sale, but I can only afford to get the game because the game itself was about forty dollars, New Zealand, New Zealand. So it's about thirty dollars U.S. So I got that. Oh, and one more. Um, this one I also have in Japanese, but I I knew I had this one in Japanese. This one is Momo wa um, man, Manji. So Momo and Manji by Sawa Sakura. It's really nice. I like this art style a lot. Okay, that seriously ends my um, manga BL section. And we're going on to figures now. I know it's a very long video. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, before I... So, I went to a relatively new manga, anime, otaku shop and they gave me this one piece poster. I would unravel it for you, but I don't want to um, damage it because I don't have means of storing it right now. So what I'm going to do is stick the picture up of what it's supposed to look on the screen here. And um, yeah, you can just use your imagination. <laughs> um, okay, let's go. I have Weather Report, a Jojo's Bizarre Adventure super action statue. I got this from Volks Korea. Um, during their closing down sale, and this was 20 bucks in New Zealand, so about 15, 12 or 15 dollars US. That's crazy, right? Weather report. Okay, 
I also got Hermes for the same price, Hermes. Um, I also got um, Abdul also for the same price, can you believe? So they're all like $12 US. Crazy. I also got this Figma. I actually didn't know such a Figma existed, but it looks like a pretty cool mech. This is Figma number 145, action figure, Space Knight Tekaman Blade. That's pretty badass, I guess. The name is so elaborate. I also got, um, what's this guy? Anasui. Anasui also for the same price as all the other JoJo's and Figma. This silver chariot for also the same price. And that's crazy because Statue Legend, this is by... The multi bien, bien. Um, they're so expensive, so such a crazy deal. I finally got my favorite Miku Racing. One of my favorite Miku Racings is the um, 233 2013 EV Mirai version. This is the motorbike um, racing Miku that I just adore. I wish you got a bigger figure. I would totally buy the crap out of that figure. <laughs> Anyway, got her. I also have a Legend of Zelda Breath. Of... Sorry, it's a bit dusty. Breath of the Wild version DX, of course, because I want Epona, and the DX is the version that comes with Epona, the the horse, the steed. Okay, that there. I got the Dragon Ball styling, Chichi. I'm quite a fan of the art style of Dragon Ball and how curvy and cute they are. So I got Chi Chi. I also got Burma. Burma. Not Burma, it's Bulma. Looking good. I also got this um, King of Artists Sakata Gintoki. I need more Gintoki figures. I feel like um, he's. Such a favorite of mine, but I don't have anything to represent that in my collection. I also have this, um, the Gundam Base Limited Gundam Barabatos Metallic Gloss Injection. Basically, it's a pearly Barabatos. And I feel like this is the, the version of Barabatos that each country has their own limited edition of. Because I think this is the one that comes in the Iron Blood Orphans Collector's Edition. From um, if you try, if you buy the anime, so that's the American collectors. This is um, the Gundam base is Korea's main Gundam shop, so that is their limited edition Barabatos. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Random books that I picked up of interest. I bought this first day. When I went to the bookshop, they had this, um, Chuoge Chongi Inyang. So, paper dolls from your nostalgic paper dolls. And this is paper dolls from, I forget what the years would be, but it looks like late 80s, early 90s sort of paper dolls. And they were quite popular in Asia at the time, I know, but I'm not sure about the West. It's basically an art book, so these, these dolls are not pre-cut in any way. Just look at the retro. It's so cool. I'm trying not to rip any pages. You see that? The only downside is that sideways, I hate sideways binding. And, um, it's kind of flimsy. I feel like all these will tear out. So I'm just, like, flicking through without showing you guys. Give me a second. Oh, shit. There you go. You get the idea. I hope. I hope you get the idea. There's even, like, really, really retro stuff. Like, um... Like this. Anyway, I just thought it's a pretty special, pretty unique kind of book, and I grew up on paper dolls like that, so nostalgic for me. 
for sure. Okay, I also got this beautiful Korean art book by a Korean artist. Again, it was shrink wrap, so I had no idea what I was getting myself into. And I think this was on sale. Not a huge sale, but a little bit of a sale. No, it was just relatively cheap. It's um, $30, $35. And this artist basically draws animals in really elaborate um, designs. Lots of dogs, really. It's just a collection of her illustrations. She even has a process thing at the back here so you can see how she works. So this would be the early stages of one of her pieces. Crazy. And then it just develops. Keeps going. Oh my god. Keeps going. Is that? I think this is the final piece. Crazy. That's crazy detail. So I got that book. Precious thing. Really beautiful. Oh, um, I also got this One Piece cookbook. I didn't think I'd ever see this. Um, I, my favorite part is definitely the back cover because this illustration is just so full of... You just see this and you know what this crew is about. It's just so cute. Unfortunately, the food just looks like regular bento homemade food. Not like binging with babish. Um, just the food that kind of reminds you of the stuff that's on the show. But that's okay. I don't care. Ugh, okay, my legs are hurting. Now this is the best deal I got all trip. So this is the um, Otomo Katsu, Katsuhiro artwork collection. And you wouldn't believe I got this for $5. $5. And it's a bit dirty, but it's okay. I can just take a bit of um, alcohol and give it a good rub and it will look so clean. But this book... Five dollars, guys. Five dollars. I got this at a really corner store, um, secondhand bookshop. It's just, I know I'm showing you all the lame pages. Okay, I'm sorry, but it's a good art book, and for five dollars, you can't go wrong, really. I also bought two um, how to draw books. This one's the first one. This is the friendly drawing. That's the title, Chinderan, Chinderan Drawing. I like this artist. This person is a webtoon artist and they basically draw, draw themselves as a tuna. So they're the, that's the artist there. But this person's style is so cute and all the instructions are handwritten. In the neatest handwriting ever, it's so cute. There's some um, drawings of mussels. Well, cluster of mussels, not specific ones. It's a very Korean sort of art style. I also got um, action drawing by another Korean artist. Also a webtoon artist, I think. But this one is purely black and white, but um, really cool information. I actually quite pref I prefer this book over the other one um, in terms of the drawing methods and some of the information. But I guess if you're not familiar with drawing, this kind of stuff might not be very helpful. <laughs> Yeah, this one's not written, it's all typed out. As you can see at the bottom there. But both good books, I think. Uh, okay. I also went to um, Extremely Rabbit. Basically, 
I became obsessed with Extremely Rabbit when I got to Korea. I wasn't obsessed with Extremely Rabbit or Kakao Talk before I arrived and now I'm just a mania for both of them. Um, Extremely Rabbit is a series of emoticons available online and Kakao Talk. And basically Korea just went crazy for the rabbit and they had a pop-up shop while I was there and I had to go all the way to Puchan to get it and to go there but very worth the the money and the trip sorry I'm just bringing it all over so I can show you guys okay let's get the easy stuff first so in Korea there's a place called Lotteria it's basically Korean McDonald's and they had these two um, overaction, in Korean they're called um, overaction toki, which is overaction rabbit, but in English it's extremely rabbit, and they had um, these two cell phone things. So I got that, and then I went to Buchan, and I got this <laughs> baby rabbit. I love how floppy ears. Anyway, I got the baby rabbit. They actually come in boxes. But um, when I had my stuff shipped over, the boxes got crushed. So I'm trying my best to repair them, but they're kind of beyond help right now. But the, the dolls themselves are quite safe. So that's the... Um, the carrot one was selling out and I got that one first, but I was kind of bummed out. I ran out of money and I wanted another one. So this really nice girl called Chen, we met up with her and she bought me the second one. And it's so nice of her oh my god again floppy ears so cute from 8 seconds which is a clothing store in korea here's the t um the shopping bag for it eight seconds um they had a collaboration with extremely rabbit and i bought this tote bag from there can you see that i also bought a hoodie um Maybe I'll add a picture of it at the end of this video or something, but yeah, those are the two things I got from 8 Second that were extremely rabbit. I also got this, the most expensive set of washi tape in my life. It is the extremely rabbit set. You get a set of three. I don't know if you can see that. And they're very cute, but this set was like 15 to $20, and that is far too much for washi tape, in my opinion. But I paid anyway, so it works, I guess. I also got this Extremely Rabbit Notebook. So cute. I got more notebooks. It's so cute, look at his hand. It says, give me. Give me, give me the heart. This proposing with a carrot notebook as well. Oh my god, guys, these are so cute. And that's this um, extremely bear. This is ex um, a spinoff. Uh, one of the side characters of Extremely Rabbit, Extremely Bear, and this is just so cute. Uh, so if I at the Buchan pop-up store, you get this bag. It's got the Extremely Rabbit Rabbit on that side, and on this side, it's so cute. It says, Saida Shopping. So basically what that means is refreshing shopping. Look at it. It's like, feeling good. <laughs> and then, there's more guys, sorry. There's a few more. Um, I also got this Hamnya Hamnya Extremely Cat Clear File. And this Kwajak Kwajak um, Extremely Rabbit Clear File. Just eating potato chips. So cute. I also have these three also very expensive sticker sheets. Um, these ones are the Extremely Rabbit and the, these are the kids, they're the little kids, don't know if you can see, sorry if it's too bright, there you go, you 
These are the dogs, I think. Dogs and cats. I like this, um, this cat there. He's throwing up rainbow. It's really cute. And this, um, extremely rabbit. This is the regular rabbit. That's all for the Extremely Rabbit stuff. Just a few more things. I got a lot of stuff from Cacao Friends. I actually don't have all the evidence for the amount of times I've visited this place because I got too many like little things and stuff like that. But this is the um, Cacao Friends um, Concept Museum Soul promotion mug set so you get two you get this white one and you get a black one I got some slippers they are of the character Neo which is the, the sassy cat she's so cute um, I also got this Kakao Friends art book more like art dictionary um, it's so cute. I think it's really nicely laid out and you get to see all some of the concepts that went into making the characters and the character illustrations. Um, each character has their own like set and it's dual language. So is that what it's called? Bilingual? It's got two languages. It's got Korean and English in it. So, um, definitely made for the international markets. Oh my god, and there's this little booklet in here that has um, their baby series. Is that Baby Tube? Baby Ryan? Oh my god. Anyway, so this art book, surprisingly really awesome, and this was only like $20. Um, in other news, I got, I visited Artbox a lot, which is, um, kind of like a stationery shop, but they have their own characters, and the boss, I mean, sorry, boss is their shark character, and I love this little guy, so I got this hat, and I also got him as a little, little plushie with a thing on it. From a random... I got a Moomin because cute Moomin and the rest of the stuff I got basically oh oh can't forget I got this Ryan tote bag from Kakao Shop don't know if you can see maybe that's too bright but uh it's just got Ryan and it says hello really cute I've been using this a lot in Korea okay Back to what I was saying. I I went to Korea. One of the reasons was because um, I was trying to reconnect with the culture, and also I wanted to find a lot of um, Korean folklore and Korean traditional stuff that I could use as references for my work and my future projects and stuff. Because a lot of Korean material is not available in English overseas, and if they are, they're kind of skewed in a way. It's very westernized for some reason, so um, I went there and I bought a bunch of like Korean fairy tales, um, folklore from Korea. I also got stuff about Korean traditional paintings um, and Korean art, traditional art, Korean traditional costumes. And like the humbug and what they wore, etc. I sound bored, but this part's really exciting. I also got some modern Korean fashion. What is this? Even if it's a, it's kind of like a lookbook, photo book, but it's um, quite nice. So I got this. I also got A Journey in Search of Korea's Beauty. This was written by um, Pei Young Jun, 
also known as Be-sama <laughs> in Japan. Basically, the guy, if you ever watched the Korean drama um, Winter Sonata, he's the guy in there and it was really popular. Anyway, he goes over like the traditions of Korea as a traditional art and kind of just talking about the tr traditional beauty of Korea, which is totally what I wanted. So I got these books. If you guys are interested, I managed to find all these books except maybe the costume one and the fashion one. I found the rest of them in a tourist location. One of the museums had a little souvenir gift shop and um, there they had a lot of um, Korean books. Another gem that I found, this is not Korean, but this is um, a reference book, an art reference book. So if you're an artist, I find, I think you'll find this incredibly helpful. Um, I think this is a French book, to be honest. I will um, check that for you, but the information here is so valuable. Let me just go through like the muscles, muscles and bones and all of that good stuff. It's um, all here. Okay, this one is... Misuhebu Hakwa Misuhebu Hakwa Drawing So it's um, fine arts and drawing. I will find the English name for this book and I'll put it in the description because this is definitely not a Korean book. Um, but I got it in Korea and it was it's really good. <clears throat> I also managed to fill up this little thing um, with a lot of Korean stickers. So if you guys are interested to find out what's in here, I put a lot of my Korean stuff in here actually. A lot of um, art box stickers, a lot of cacao stickers, and like little when you eat snacks or food, you can get like little trading stickers. Yeah, I put them all in here. So if you guys are interested, I can do a little sticker tour. Otherwise, that is the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. I know it's been a long one. And um, hopefully I'll bring more videos to you guys really soon. I actually have a mini haul that I want to cover as well. So see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye!